this demonstration, we're going to compare side shovel force. With today's tires and wheels, side shovel force is so important for these sticky beads, so every pound matters. To compare our side shovel force, the rubber pads on each tire changer have been substituted with a steel plate so that we don't have the rubber squishing and distorting our measurements. Then we have load cells. Load cells are the heart of this test. We're going to insert them between the side shovel and the plate, and these will measure our pounds of force as they're pressed upon. So without further ado, let's get started. Lined up there, Jim? Yep. All right, three, two, one, go. Ready to call it? Yep, I'm at uh, 2035. I'm at 2322, okay? 2035, 2322. Clear advantage, Hunter. In this demonstration, we're going to do an alternate side shovel comparison. This one we're calling the coconut test. Jim, when you're ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Those results were inconclusive. One of the most important performance characteristics of a tabletop tire changer is torque. So we're going to do a torque comparison. To do this, we're going to use a setup that's very similar to the way the tire changer might operate. We're going to clamp a wheel to the tabletop and rotate that wheel with some resistance. So what we've done is put a cable on here to a load, okay? In the case of our load, it's these lead blocks. Each one is a thousand pounds. In between the cable and the lead blocks, we've got a load cell. So besides the test where we'll see the blocks move, hopefully, we'll also see the actual measurement in pounds of the pulling force that each tabletop generates. All right, Jim, let's go ahead and set these up. Okay, we got a little preload on them and I believe we're ready to go. Oh, 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 Jim, we gotta stop. We forgot this one slips. Um, we need to put our brake on. Okay, to keep this uh, tabletop from slipping here, we're gonna go ahead and put a brake on it. All right, so we've got our anti-slip device installed. Our blocks are set back up in their starting positions. Also, should note that both tire chasers are bolted down at the rear. Obviously, we want this to be a power test, uh, not a slip test, so uh, we, we have both bolted down at this point. I think we're ready to go. All right, Jim, fire them up. Wow, look at that go. Can't get it to stop. Oh, there we are. So in conclusion, on the power test, the TCX saw a peak power of somewhere in the 890 pound range. We saw a very momentary peak, just a bit over 700, 730 pounds for the conventional tabletop. So 890 to 730, clear advantage, TCX.